So what's the formal definition of a conjugate prior distribution? It's actually a little more complicated than you might expect. Let f be a family of distributions containing the data distribution. For example, the normal mu sigma squared distribution is a family of distributions. The normal 0, 1 is a member of that family. Similarly, let h be a family of distributions containing the prior distributions for the parameter theta. Then h is conjugate for f if for all data distributions in f and all prior distributions in h, the resulting posterior distribution will also be in h. One of the best known examples of a conjugate pair is that a binomial data distribution and a beta prior distribution will always result in a beta posterior distribution. Natural conjugate families are families that look a lot like the likelihood function of the data and are usually the kind that we're interested in. Typically, you'll only find conjugate prior distributions for data distributions that are members of an exponential family, which is a broad class of statistical distributions that have a common form which ensures some really nice statistical properties. Some advantages of conjugate prior distributions are that they always result in a closed form expression for the posterior and our computations are greatly simplified. Additionally, they're often a good enough approximation to our actual beliefs that the computational benefits are worth using a conjugate prior. Lastly, because our conjugate prior distribution often looks a lot like the likelihood function of the data, the conjugate prior can be interpreted as additional data to the observed data set to increase the sample size. The main disadvantages of conjugate prior distributions are that they can be unrealistic, and are likely impossible for complicated models. I do want to defend conjugate prior distributions a bit, because they often get a bad reputation for being too simple and unrealistic. In the right contexts, a conjugate prior may be sufficiently flexible to meet your needs. If so, simplify your life and use it. In the plot displayed here, we see three examples of beta densities. A beta 1, 1 is shown in blue, a beta 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is shown in red with dashed lines, and a beta 5100 is shown in orange dotted lines. You can see that the beta 1, 1, the beta 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and beta 5100 all have very different shapes. So make sure you double check about whether a conjugate prior distribution could work for your analysis, even as a preliminary analysis, before you move on to something more complicated. 